Hello everyone, welcome to Cross Cultural. I'm Rebecca and for today's video we're going to be reacting to a video called Five Most Expensive Houses in India. Now I know in the past, it was quite a while ago I think, <laughs> we reacted to a video of like a business owner, um, his house, and we did recently, um, we looked around Sashant's, um, the actor Sizanj Singh Rajput, we saw his home, um, which was beautiful. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited to see what the five most expensive houses in India looks like. I've said this in previous videos where it's been this sort of similar thing. I'm really nosy. I love looking around people's houses. I love like um, home decor um, and anything if like people are moving. I love watching moving vlogs. I don't know why, I just find that really interesting and I like to see how people style their homes because it gives me ideas of how to make my home look better. So I'm really interested to see how these expensive houses in India look. So we're gonna watch it together. It is said that there is no place like home. While it stands true for every home, there are some which define this line on some other level. India is a country with around 170 billionaires and around 3.5 lakh millionaires. So it is quite Beautiful. apparent that India has some of the most luxurious and expensive houses in the world. Before we begin, click the subscribe button if you haven't Make sure and you click the bell icon to, to this be channel. part of our notification squad. Today, we are looking at five most expensive houses in India. For I this would list, love to have a home We look at houses now. which, besides Whoa. their immense comforts and advantages, are out of the reach of That's the one we saw. <laughs> Jatya House, Kumar Mangalam Birla. Chairman of the Aditya Birla Group, an Indian billionaire and industrialist Kumar Mangalam Birla bought this property for 425 crore rupees bid in 2015 from Arun Jatya. The bungalow is over 30,000 square feet of luxury, with greenery all around it, along with a pond and a central courtyard. It is said to have 20 odd bedrooms as well as multiple ballrooms. It also consists of spacious corridors where gardens Who needs 20 bedrooms? are situated in the Malabar Hill area in Mumbai. Built in 1928, wow. the house has a long history. Yeah, that's not what we call bungalow. <laughs> making it the costliest bungalow deal yet in Mumbai and perhaps the country. Who hasn't wow. dreamt of living in such a serene bungalow? I'm sure we all have. That was Galita, crazy. Anand Piramal. Galita is the name of the wow. luxurious bungalow in which Anand Piramal, the executive director of the Piramal Group and his wife and daughter of Mukesh Ambani, Isha Ambani, live together. It was gifted to the two by Anand's parents, Ajay and Swati Piramal, after their wedding. It wow. costs of whooping. I would love to be gifted a house. And is a sea facing apartment in Wali, wow. Mumbai, facing the Arabian Sea. It spreads across 50,000 square feet and is a diamond theme based bungalow with a diamond room, swimming pool, a temple room, two diamond basements, room. multiple dining rooms, a high ceiling huge hall. It was sold by Hindustan Unilever to the pyramids. The house has been made using 3D construction technology. The mansion has five floors and triple height multi-purpose rooms, lounge areas across all floors, and space to park up to 20 luxury cars. We all love gifts, but this one definitely surpasses all. Abode Anil Ambani. Anil Ambani, the younger sibling of Mukesh Ambani, is the chairman of the Reliance Group having his separate ventures in financial services, defense, infrastructure, and media namely Reliance Capital, Reliance Infrastructure, Reliance Power and Reliance Communications. He lives in one of the most expensive homes in India named Abor. Oh it is spread over 16,000 square feet and is 66 meters high. I like from the outside it doesn't look too fancy. Rupees. It is situated in Pali Hill in Mumbai. It is a 17-story building with all the amenities one would look for in a home and more. A board is a tall and extremely elegant building with a fancy helipad on top of it. Wait, he owns if all of it? this isn't called living luxuriously, then what is? I thought it was just like a bunch of flats and he owned like the penthouse. JK House, Gautam Singhania. The Singhania family is a well-known Indian business family with majority stakes in publicly listed companies That's nice. such I like as the JK design Tire, that. JK Lakshmi Cement, JK Paper, JK Enterprises, JK Agri Genetics and JK Dairy with privately held companies such as Raymond Group, JK Technosoft, JK Fenner and Global Strategic Technologies. JK House, situated at Breach Candy area in South Mumbai, is a 37-storey building spread over 16,000 square feet, worth somewhere around 6,000 crore rupees. 
It is designed with 48 feet cantilevers with a museum, two private swimming pools, Why do you need a museum a in a house? And a recreational center. It has a helipad at its highest point wow. and five floors are reserved to park the best cars. <gasps> the upper floors are divided into separate residential units for the family members, each with spacious outdoor terraces and gardens. That's Situated nearly a mile away from interior, JK House is said to be the closest competitor with a facade that can be easily mistaken for Antelia from a distance. Oh my gosh. Antelia Mukesh Ambani, the chairman, managing director, and largest shareholder of India's most valuable This is the one we reacted to. Value, Reliance Industries Limited. Mukesh Ambani it just looks in insane. India, worth somewhere around 10,000 crore rupees. Antelia is a 27 story. 4 lakh square feet and 570 feet high building that Crazy. sits on Mumbai's Altamount Road, one of the most expensive addresses in the world. The house, named after a mythical island in the Atlantic Ocean, was designed by Chicago-based architects Perkins and & Wills and led by Australia-based construction company Leighton Holdings. It is said that Antelia can survive an earthquake of 8 on the Richter scale. Wow. The top 6 floors are private residentials of the Ambani family. Rest of the floors consist of a mega temple, guest suites, got a, a, temple. Cell, an ice cream I don't remember mentioning that in the other video. To accommodate 50 people, six dedicated parking floors with space to accommodate Same. 168 cars, a car service station, Why do you a need that many cars? an entourage room for the staff to relax, a health spa, a ballroom, three swimming pools, yoga and dance studios. It's the just insane, look at that. Three helipads on the roof. No doubt it has been deemed as the world's most valuable private residential property after Buckingham Palace. Hmm. Interesting. Did you like this video? Tell I us did. about Thank your you. ideas in the <laughs> comments below. Also watch these other videos from Top 5s indeed. And be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Cool. Oh my goodness. Well, like we like I said, we saw that last house in a different video so you know i'd kind of seen that already but i just don't understand like this is the thing in my opinion people who are really rich have more money than sense in my opinion i mean it's not necessarily true for everyone but you look at these and they have like five or six floors for cars and i understand that they've got people working in in the buildings and stuff but that last one, they said there's six floors for car parking and a gas station inside the house and it can hold up to 168 cars, I think she said. Like, I just can't imagine at one point, like in one day, they're gonna have 168 cars in there. Like, it just seems crazy. Obviously, they've got pools and stuff, which I wish I had a pool. I mean, I don't even have a garden where I'm living, so <laughs> yeah. Um, and also, if we had a pool in London, we wouldn't get it. You, we wouldn't use it that much because it's never. Well, it's not always hot enough to use a pool. <laughs> um, but yeah, there was so many beautiful, like different architectures. Every single house looked different, which I really, really liked. I think my favourite one was was it number three or two? Um, the one that the parents gifted to the children when they got married um, and it, they said they had like a diamond room. Like what does that even mean? Is that where they hold their diamonds or is it literally built out of diamonds? I want to know. <laughs> I like that one because from the outside they had these like, I don't even know what they are, but like the glass windows that kind of look like vases I think. Um, they looked really cool, but the one thing I didn't like about that was that it was on like a really busy main road. I don't know, I feel like if I could build my dream home and I had all the money in the world, like I wouldn't have it on a busy main road. I don't know, let me know what you would do if you could build your own dream home. How many floors would it have? Um, and also, yeah, with that one as well, they didn't have like an excessive amount of floors. Like, I think it was the one after that, which I said from the outside doesn't look like crazy because at first I thought it was just like a block of flats and they were going to say that he had the penthouse suite or something. But he actually owned all 37 floors, which is just crazy. But again, from the outside, well, to me, it, look, it would look like a block of flats and I wouldn't know that a million millionaire lived there <laughs> unless I'd seen this video, which now I have and so I do know. Um, but yeah crazy architecture it looks 
beautiful and yeah insane i also like about the one that i said is my favorite i like that it's got sea views because who doesn't want to see the sea my dad lives near the sea actually um so they can see the windows from where they live which is always really nice because i find the sea very calming whereas i live in london and i can actually see trees and greenery outside my window which is nice but it's just a lot of building works like behind the trees there's a massive crane because there's some flats being built out the back <laughs> so london living in london is very different to living next to the sea and yeah that was another thing that i really liked about that that house but yeah crazy crazy things um just really cool architecture and oh, i would love to design my own house like I would have floor to ceiling windows, I think, in, in most of the rooms, not like the bathroom for obvious reasons. But yeah, I just think floor to ceiling windows look so pretty and bring in so much natural light. I'm all about that natural light. <laughs> um, but yeah, this was really cool to see the five most expensive houses in India. Um, I know she actually was uh, referring to some of the properties as bungalows, which is completely different to what we refer to as bungalows over here in the uk to us a bungalow is um like just one one floor there's no upstairs and so in the first one she was like yes this bungalow and it was like five stories high and i was like oh so we don't have the same meaning <laughs> but i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have please do give it a thumbs up i really enjoyed watching this video and um, if you have any other videos you want me to react to please leave links to them in the comments below and i will do my best to react to them but if you have enjoyed this give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know when i upload and share this video with friends and family i hope you're doing well and i will see you very soon for a new video bye everyone